we have a problem, a problem that affects you, no matter if you're at the center of it. Every day, many students dread hearing the sound of their alarm in the morning, knowing that they'll have to endure yet another anxiety-filled, stressful school day. Educational related stress has affected our and so many other people's futures. I myself have experienced an enormous amount of pressure with education. I used to be increasingly aware of the importance of having high grades, and in return, my life became a never-ending cycle of waking up, going to school, studying, and going back to sleep. Schoolwork had taken up all of my free time. Sometimes I had to deal with not only one, but multiple tests a day, and every day I was told that I had to get the best grades for my future, which put immense amounts of stress on me. Subjects just became grades and not something I could actually find interest in, which caused a loss in my motivation to study. I had a hard time trying to differentiate what I had to do from what I loved to do. Constantly being focused on grades led to me getting worse ones, it led to a loss of interest in many subjects, which in turn made studying less interesting and a million times harder. And sadly, I'm not the only person to have dealt with this problem. Imagine how many students deal with this much stress and so many more problems every single day. School takes up so much time that us students are left with no opportunities to personally develop and find ourselves. And this is far from all. Not only can academic life interfere with social life, it can become almost impossible for students to personally develop and find themselves. With so much pressure from school, students are left with no energy to do things they are required to do, or even things that they love and enjoy doing. This is far from all. With this much pressure, it is impossible to understand how much pressure that students are under. So if you're one of those people that it might be hard for you to understand, I'm going to try my best to explain. Now try to imagine yourself in a student's place. During the school years, our minds are consistently developing, which affects our stress levels, and even the smallest of inconveniences can cause overwhelming stress. Now, on top of that, try to imagine having to deal with the unrealistic expectations, pressures from the teachers, tests, and the pressure of the perfect future. This is the reality of almost all students every day. With this much stress, it can get hard to think and even normally function. It can cause demotivation, restless sleeping, feeling overwhelmed, isolated, and moody, which can lead to even bigger mental health problems like depression, and anxiety, and these problems are bigger than any of us. They can lead to completely destroying a person and those around them. However, we can be the change, and it is time we raise awareness and talk about these issues. Never forget that there is always a solution. I was able to overcome this problem, and I'm positive you can too. So I had to ask myself, is this worth it, giving all your energy to grades when you can have such a bad outcome? And the answer is no. We grow up with the idea that to be successful in life, we have to succeed in school, get the highest grades, be the best in every subject. But the way I see it, having to follow these ideas leads to putting too much pressure on yourself. It leads to anxiety and stress, which can make learning even more difficult. The education experience becomes something we never look forward to, when in fact, student years should be the best years of our lives. The fact is that there are people in this world who would give anything to be able to get any type of education. Looking from their perspective, maybe the grades would not matter so much, and the learning experience would be the focal point. I try to see it from their point of view and try to find the fun in the experience, because at the end of the day, why is a high grade so important to live a successful life? If you are not able to study without the looming stress and anxiety, then it is almost impossible to find an interest in any subject. What is the point of getting the highest grades if you are not able to do what you actually love? It is important to remember that you and your priorities come first and not the grades. You have to put yourself first because the education system won't suddenly change, but what can change is the way you see it. Do not ever forget that the power is in your hands. If you try to recognize stress as a positive signal, it can be used to your benefit, promoting growth, success, and prosperity. Adapting to stress can lead to a more and more resilient mind. So you need to learn how to think positively. Start seeing your problems differently and focus on the solutions instead. Try to stop worrying so much about your future. We often overestimate what we can accomplish in a day, but underestimate what we can accomplish in a year. Remember, everything has its own time. 
Rather than focusing on the future, focus on today, on small accomplishments. Do not look at the final goal, then see where you're at and feel defeated. Instead, ask yourself, what is the one step I can take today that will bring me closer to my goal? Take time to find what you truly love, focus on yourself, and then build your grades around that. Work on yourself and who you are. Try to get in control of your mind and make sure to surround yourself with people who you can trust and talk to. Acknowledge your problems and do not be afraid to speak of them. Trust me, I know it can be hard. I have dealt with it myself. But you have to embrace the stuff you don't like. You have to try and find the positives in every situation. Try to not feel defeated by the pressure of education. Get in control of your stress before it takes control of you. You are not alone in this. There is always a solution. And in this case, the solution is you. You are the key to your own happiness.